Okay, hi. So I'm going to be making a really tiny little koi fish out of polymer clay because I'm bored. Uh, sorry about the lighting, it does get better. So at this point, I'm making the body, which is like a teardrop shape, but long and kind of twist. No, not, not twisted, curved to one side so that it looks like a fish that is currently swimming. And then now I'm making the larger fins and trying to attach them and that's out of frame. Great. Okay, that's better. So I'm using a tool that is like a ball on the end to kind of uh, smush together the different pieces. So now we got like an aeroplane looking thing. And then, um, this is the, the fin that's going to be on the back. I think that's called the dorsal fin. And uh, I think I made it too big the first couple tries. Because I kept overestimating the size of the actual koi fish. It's very tiny. But yeah, I got it. And then I'm attaching it. I'm adding a little slit in the fin because the reference image had one. The reference image also had two really small fins that were on either side behind the main fins. So um, that's, that's what I'm making. I'm actually making them kind of thick because I don't want them to break off or whatever. So even though it doesn't look as realistic as it should, it's a little more durable because the protruding parts are thicker. And here I'm cutting out the tail shape. This one is a little bit tricky because the tail is actually taller than the fish. So if I laid it flat, it would, like the bottom fin would get crushed. So um, what I elected to do was to like fold it in a way that I was okay with. So I folded the bottom fin over and curved it into like a C shape so that it would be it would look intentionally folded instead of being squished by the weight of the fish itself. Yep, and that's what it looks like and I went ahead and baked that. It's kind of dusty, but I don't care because um, I'm going to be painting it anyway. So yes, there I am with... Um, I, I did a couple coats of white paint. And actually, I saw a tip that was like, put a tiny, tiny bit of blue in so that things look really, really bright white. So I did that. This is going to take a while. So I got my smallest brush and did the eyes. It's just black dots and then uh, a little bit of a white highlight inside them. They're not anything too fancy because I don't have the skill <laughs> to do anything on that small of a scale. Okay, yeah, wait, I got distracted rambling. Orange, orange patches all over. I, I did Google a few like koi images to see what's, what's the general shape I should be aiming for. And now I'm going around putting black patches both um, separately on their own and also like touching the orange patches. I don't know, I just tried to like amalgamate the reference images into one. So this is how it turned out. I'm quite happy with the way it is. It's very small and cute. 